Hello beer tubers and welcome to yet another beer review with me Peter the master of puppets shooting more birthday beer reviews on my birthday. So <laughs> happy birthday to me. It's not my birthday when you watched it or watch this review but I had shoot it and drink some good beer whilst my friends are in my living room. That's why the setting is the bedroom or this just very plain white wall because these are windows where I rolled down some curtains and shit but whatever. So today guys we're going to be looking at another collaboration beer between a brewery I reviewed a few beers from and a brewery I haven't reviewed too much from. So this guys is by OO Brewing and Bibliothek in Sweden. Got a lot of Swedish beer coming in these next few reviews guys, but this is the OO Brewing and Bibliothek Sabotage Black IPA on 6.6%. Freaking awesome that they started canning in Bibliothek. We started getting their cans here and this label on Sabotage is straight fucking fire. This is awesome. It reminds me of like an 80s action movie kind of title or something like that scribbled on there. It looks so, so awesome. Uh, again, love that it's in a can. Fun to see a black IPA. It's not a style you see too often anymore. Uh, I haven't had a black IPA in ages, so it should be really fun to get one. And I had to get this one because it was a collab with OO Brewing, which I love. And uh, Beer Bibliothek also makes some really nice beers. I just haven't reviewed too many of them. I think I might have reviewed one, which was a collab too, or maybe none. Not entirely sure, but yeah, 6.6%. No intro on hops or anything. All malted barley, hops, wheat malt, yeast, water, that's it. Uh, and I couldn't really find anything online except that it was a collab with OO Brewing. So, sounds really inter interesting. I mean, the black IPA that's made with OO Brewing sounds interesting because Ola from OO slash D-Bag is it's great at making hoppy beer, and this is a hoppy beer. So, should be interesting to see if this is going to be a juicy black IPA. Also got to give a big thanks to bestofbeers.dk for this one. Uh, check out their web shop, link for, it's in down it, for it is down below. And uh, they have this one right now on their web shop along with a few other uh, Bibliothek beers and also OO Brewing beers. So I got the OO and Bibliothek or Bibliothek and OO Black IPA Sabotage Poured. And yeah, well that's a black color in the glass. You can see like some brown notes coming through in the bottom of the glass though, because I have like lights in front of me. But other than that, it looks like, you know, a black IPA. The head that was there was like a nice kind of one finger frothy beige looking head. Looks like a black IPA. Let's check out the aroma on Sabotage. I love the name too. It reminds me of like Beastie Boys. Oh, that smells really nice. That kind of smells like juicy black. Oh, this smells like true black IPA. The thing with black, like, black IPAs, they're so hard to do because to me, a true black IPA is an IPA that's just black. So maybe that's why you get some brown notes too. They didn't do too much like roasty, toasty malts or caramel malts, but super like it's got juicy profiles like pineapple and mangoes and subtle hints of like toasty, nutty, toasted, bready notes, not roasted and coffee and all that. It really, if you gave it to me blind, I'd probably think that this was a black, like an IPA. Not like a hopped up stout or something like that. This really smells like a true black IPA. Oh, it smells really nice. Pineapple, oranges, mangoes, as I said. It's got a bit of a lemon lime quality to it as well. It smells really, really nice actually. Oh, that's fun. Should be really nice trying this one. Okay, yeah. So far so good. Let's just give it a taste. Cheers guys and thanks the best of beers for the beer. And happy birthday to me. Huh? That's really nice. Yeah, it. I like the malt shines more on the flavor, but it's definitely tasting like a true black, black IPA because it's got those juicy kind of hop flavors, and the hop is more up front than um, like the malt. But this is a style I'm just not as into anymore. I remember back in the day, I loved black IPAs. I thought they were so good, but sometimes it's hard. To, like sometimes they turn into just really hoppy stouts. This seems to be more in that IPA style because you get a lot of grapefruit, you get a lot of, again, kind of pineapple mango, uh, sweet citrus fruits in general, oranges. They're up front, but a little bit on the back end. I'm getting some toasty, roasty, actually a bit of a freshly roast coffee on the aftertaste. Like toasty, roasty malts and like toasted bread, more so than the aroma indicated. This is still a really well made black IPA. It's like definitely how I prefer my black IPAs. Like low malt profile and lots of hops. Maybe even a bit of dankness, but really nice hop profile with like grapefruit and juicy citrus fruits. And again, that kind of pineapple mango thing, which then kind of fading into more roasty, toasty. And again, it's toasty. It's like soft, subtle. 
kind of black IPA notes, but this might be one of the better black IPAs I've had. Just standard black IPAs, if, if I think about it. It's not a style I really, really love. And I think I've given black IPAs higher grades back in the day than I'm going to give this one right now. Maybe because I like them more back in the day. Uh, like Stones, Escandidian, Imperial, whatever was one of the best I remember. But I'm still going to give this a 93. I think this is a very nice black IPA. And it's not a style I really drink at all anymore. There's a few that has blown my mind. And yeah, that was one of them in the stone, and then maybe the one of the two beers, uh, black malts and body salts, I think it was called, or something that was like coffee, like green coffee bean or something that was really good. But this is a really great collab, really nice. I love how it's hops first, malt last, which I think uh, true black IPA should be. But yeah, great stuff. So, mm. 93 for the OO Brewing and Bibliothek Sabotage, black IPA, really tasty stuff. Love the fucking can artwork. And just the whole, you know, can sticker thing. It's, it would be awesome if a brewery in Denmark would start doing cans. It just, it's so awesome. It preserves the beer better, especially if it's hoppy beer. And like just the room for artwork, it's great. So check out Sabotage, guys, if you get the chance. If you can't get it locally, check out Best of Beer Stuff DK. Link for the web shop is down below. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page, and Twitter, and Instagram, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And let me know what you think of Sabotage if you had a chance to try it. And I'm going to say cheers. And see you guys. You know the beer view.